I don't really know what to go for here or for Aura Fire. Probably something that can split push like along the lines of Makito or Benedetta. Oh! Ooh, the signature the choke comeback. comes out! He's inspired, man. He's seen Bruce go. Oh my god, against this team, I did not expect it. I did ask him in the back. I was with Arashi and the X-Borg too. What? Arashi, there... It's a Nana, it's a Barat, it's a Minotaur and a Herod. This is... Oh, oh man, and oh. a Fanny for Van. Oh, we've... Gotta play with me while Barat is gonna do his job. Gonna chunk up all the... Oh, Yaoi, quicker over with the Dragon. That's the first kill to Yaoi in this game. Van not able Ooh. to out-retry Gugun as Gugun just takes it away from him right now. But Van already used the retro that. Yup. I mean, we saw it, like, the four-man knock-up towards the whole Onyx team is just... Absolutely ridiculous, and he can pick out the perfect target in CW. Like, that was probably one of the craziest pick off I've ever seen. And while he's trying to do so, again, again, Jeet Kune Do away the dragon into the eternal guard, and we expected, which Aura has a lot of. It's gonna be so difficult for him to try and deal for his team. Well, let's see oh. right now. All chain CC, and it's gonna be Van who wins it out right there. No CC to help Aura. Gugun gets brought back to the team. Aran's gonna be targeted down, and yes, Kill Flicker is out to safety, but no, Van finds the cut through Yowie. Jikun go quicker combo, bringing Van back for Kukun to slay. Kabuki with a blazing duet now onto Warlord, who's forced to run away and has the passive, but now gets chased down by Yaoi. One more hit should do it. Ooh, Warlord's low. Yaoi's looking for the play, but he missed it earlier to shut Pu to get away, but Veldora eats him up, and it's an overall great trade. Takes the turrets as well, and they're still looking for more as Van. Oh, Van on the S kill. Oh no, Van! Van gets locked up again! Kabuki finds the kill! Yeah, Heskiel survives! And it is a crack the base open with the first or the second Lord Pather right now. Kabuki's doing a good job though right now with the BMI. Pops in, Eternal Guard, knocking Veldora off, and that's gonna be a lockdown actually. Aran jumping in as well with the last insanity onto Veldora. He might be able to find that, and my goodness, he just takes him out. That's a free turret too as Aran just flickers out to safety, buys the immortality now. Decent amount of items, Divine Glaive even completed for Warlord. Oh, okay. oh. oh. And he gets the kick out to Veldora earlier. Veldora with a flicker out right now. Last Insanity onto Van Strong as Van tries to deal with Kabuki, but he's not going to be able to do so. Immortality, Van Strong popped down. Super Red with his on Force right now, but Gugu will just soak it in and run back to safety. Has Immortality, Kabuki now with Blazing Duet gets bursted down. Oh, Kabuki! Ooh. Loses the Immortality now as Aran tries to back him up. That's a Wind of Nature pop, but Super Red deals magic damage and takes him down. Gugu running Van Ooh. down, goes in for Shield Unity. Van should still have the cables. RGM popped in that shield. They don't have Veldora, they don't have Van Strong. Three members against four. Van going back and forth. Super Red now with Zaman's Force, but now, oh, the Purify gets him out of safety, but he's already out of the Zaman Force. He won't be able to cut himself out of this one. And now the base is wide open, even though Van tries to go for the assassination. Only the base is what is available to be assassinated. Aura takes game one. They strike first, quite con convincingly at that. Just run, is it? Oh my no god. No way. Yaoi gonna catch Warlord right now. Kabuki oh. was waiting in the bush, finds the damage, and Aran executes now the implosion to isolate one member into the Melina. Blitz and Yehezkiel does enough damage for Aran to execute one more time. It's a double kill. And it all was planted down because of the Yaoi setup, man. Doesn't look like an overextension, Arashi, but it was. It was because they're playing against Apakshi and also Aran with the Benedetta. They're going for it again. Real good, this time onto Van, who has to use the Fracture to dash Ooh. away. Yaoi again bye bye. finds the dash to bring Veldora back. Super Red all alone gets caught even with the Purify. It doesn't matter. A wipe out. The Tigers have been completely destroyed. But now there is a minion wave. Warlord has respawned. Van Strong is coming back alive as well. Two members against five. The Dragons. Five man strong still. Minion wave in the mid lane and the bottom lane. Going to be crashing down onto Evo's Glory's base. Van Strong, he needs to make a miracle play happen here. The Molina connects onto the back of Minion's Fury as well. And Implosion does the same thing. Van Strong slams him down. That's two people taken down. But Kabuki says that's enough and wraps up the game 2-0 to the Dragons. A clean W. The first W of the season for Aura. A very convincingly one is that and that. Yaoi, Iran, everyone on the team. Oh my god. God, it's just dismantling Eva's glory. Whew. What do you do against all that? Even the notorious bush curse. Kabuki says, I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. I am not Kumar. 
<laughs> yeah. Even with the pose, he pulled a sneaky one on us. Yeah, he was making a statement. Akhirnya kita bisa melihat Yawi in Indonesia and you won. Congratulations Yawi for the first win in Indonesia. Yawi, I'm gonna ask uh, what you... Kamu bisa bahasa Indonesia sekarang? Bahasa Indonesia. Udah, Jadi mau bisa bahasa Inggris nih? Indonesia aja, jago Indonesia dia. ya? Gimana main di Indonesia? Um, bagus banget karena banyak orang di dinonton. <laughs> bisa beneran guys, bisa beneran. Bagus katanya ramai di sini. The crowd, you love the crowd. But how about the team? Gimana dengan timnya? Is this your your expectation or what? Because on the first week you guys couldn't get any win. Kalian nggak bisa menang tuh di game di match pertama dan kedua. What happened? Apa yang terjadi? Menurut gua week pertama kita masih adjusting, masih pressure. Tapi hari uh, minggu ini kita improving. Oh. Bahasa Indonesia bagus banget deh. Ya, and he say that he's improving now with the team. It's just adjusting, masih proses. Dan in your opinion, how many percentage? Ini udah berapa persennya aura sih that you want aura to be on 100 percent? But right now, how many percent? Berapa persen nih sekarang proses dari tim aura? 70 persen. 70 persen masih banyak ruang yang berkembang, but You face three teams right now. Udah ketemu tiga teams nih. Is there any difference between Indonesian team and Filipino team that you can mention here? Ada nggak sih bedanya ini mungkin dari permainannya atau apa nya? Um, menurut gua hampir sama karena semua tim getting stronger season ini. Getting stronger and you guys did it as well. Semuanya makin kuat. But ada nggak sih tim yang pengen banget mungkin Yowi? Penasaran dari season-season lalu dan di season ini ingin Yawi hadapi. You want to face? Onyx. Onyx, satu nama ya. Yeah. Why? Nah, karena mereka defending champion, terus tank mereka Kiboy jago banget. <laughs> Kiboy ya jago banget dan juga ini adalah tim yang selalu menang. Defending champion of Onyx dan Yawi tertantang untuk mel melihat bagaimana nanti untuk pertemuannya. But Yawi, you play Cho in this match. How do you feel you can play your Cho on the first game? Gimana rasanya tuh bisa main dengan Cho? Feel so great karena gua kangen main Cho. Kangen main Cho ya dan dilepas. Dan dilepas. Ini menarik banget di mana ada juga selain ada Yawi di sini, ada satu nama yang menjadi sorotan bagi masyarakat semua. Weh, udah pada teriak siapa? King Gugu. King Gugu. 